Hello there. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I will show you how to tackle problems on belts and pulleys in Mechanics of Machines 1. Let's begin with this question. An engine, running at 150 RPM, drives a line shaft by means of a belt. The engine pulley is 750 mm diameter and the pulley on the line shaft being 450 mm. A 900 mm diameter pulley on the line shaft drives a 150 mm diameter pulley keyed to a dynamo shaft. Find the speed of the dynamo shaft, when 1. There is no slip. 2. There is a slip of 2% at each drive. Solution Given N1 equals 150 RPM D1 equals 750 mm D2 equals 450 mm D3 equals 900 mm D4 equals 150 mm let N4 be equal speed of the dynamo shaft. 1. Finding the speed of the dynamo shaft when there is no slip. N4 equals 1500 rpm. 2. Finding the speed of the dynamo shaft when there is a slip of 2% at each drive. N4 equals 1440 rpm. Here is a second question. The power is transmitted from a pulley 1 meter diameter running at 200 RPM to a pulley 2.25 meters diameter by means of a belt. Find the speed lost by the driven pulley as a result of creep, if the stress on the tight and slack side of the belt is 1.4 MPa and 0.5 MPa respectively. The Young's modulus for the material of the belt is 100 MPa. Solution Given N1 equals 200 RPM. D1 equals 1 meter. D2 equals 2.25 meters. Sigma1 equals 1.4 times 10 to power 6 newtons per squared meter. Sigma2 equals 0.5 times 10 to power 6 newtons per squared meter. E equals 100 times 10 to power 6 newtons per squared meter. Let N2 be equals to speed of the driven pulley. Finding the speed of the driven pulley, neglecting creep. N2 equals 88.9 RPM. Finding the speed of the driven pulley, considering creep. N2 equals 88.7 RPM. Finding the speed lost by driven pulley due to creep. Which equals 0.2 RPM. Here is a third question. Two pulleys, one 450 mm diameter and the other 200 mm diameter, on parallel shafts 1.95 meters apart are connected by a cross belt. Find the length of the belt required and the angle of contact between the belt and each pulley. What power can be transmitted by the belt when the larger pulley rotates at 200 revolutions per minute, if the maximum permissible tension in the belt is 1 kN, and the coefficient of friction between the belt and pulley is 0.25? Solution Given D1 equals 0.45 meters or R1 equals 0.225 meters D2 equals 0.2 meters or R2 equals 0.1 meters X equals 1.95 meters N1 equals 200 RPM T1 equals 1000 Newtons Mu equals 0.25 Finding the length of the belt. L equals 4.974 meters. Finding the angle alpha. Alpha equals 9.6 degrees. Finding the angle of contact. Theta equals 199.2 degrees. In radians. Theta equals 3.477 radians. Let T1 and T2 be the tensions in the tight and slack sides. Finding the tension in the slack side. T2 is equal to 419 newtons. Finding the velocity. V equals 4.713 meters per second. Finding the power. P equals 2738 watts. Here is the last question. Find the power transmitted by a belt running over a pulley of 600 millimeters diameter at 200 rpm. The coefficient of friction between the belt and the pulley is 0.25,
angle of lap 160 degrees and maximum tension in the belt is 2,500 newtons. Solution. Given. D equals 0.6 meters. N equals 200 RPM. Mu equals 0.25. Theta equals 2.793 radians. T1 is equal to 2,500 newtons. Finding the velocity of the belt. V equals 6.284 meters per second. Finding the tension in the slack side. Let T2 equals tension on slack side. T2 is equal to 1,244 newtons. Finding the power. P equals 7,890 watts. Don't forget to subscribe, like and comment. I am Engineer Mayday, when you need help Mayday is the call. You have been an interactive learner. Thank you.